you know, a few hours ago I got a chance to talk to the astronauts up on the International Space Station where Scott Kelly is living for an entire year. Last month, NASA found water flowing on Mars. Earlier this year, we mapped Pluto in high resolution. In recent years, we've discovered the first Earth-sized planet orbiting a star in a distant galaxy. And we've even slipped the outermost grasp of our solar system with Voyager 1, the first human-made object to venture into interstellar space. In 2017, with the help of American space companies, our astronauts will once again launch to space directly from American soil. And today, NASA is developing the capabilities to send humans to Mars in the 2030s. President Obama in his remarks talk about his priority to have us launch again American astronauts from U.S. soil on American rides. And you guys are going to be the astronauts who are going to carry out those missions. How does it actually feel to be selected to be the first astronauts to fly on these missions? And what does that actually mean in terms of the work you're going to be doing over the next few years? The role that we play as a part of the commercial crew program is to work directly hand in hand with uh, both Boeing and SpaceX uh, to inform them as they kind of uh, design these new spaceships of what our experiences were when we flew missions and help them uh, build a good spaceship that you know the next couple of generations at least if uh, of classes that come into the astronaut office are going to fly and so I think we all feel a pretty big responsibility to make sure that we build a uh, participate in the building of a, a new spaceship that uh, uh, astronauts in the future are you know want to fly on and are proud of and uh, think works well and, and there's a lot of responsibility associated with that. You know, President Obama said tonight that we're on a journey to Mars, that we're going to make it to Mars in the 2030s. What do we need to do between now and then to get ready? What are the technologies that we need to develop to make it possible to survive that journey and make it back? The lettuce is a real big one. It, it definitely makes a big difference when you can uh, eat some fresh food. And obviously, weight is a big problem. You know, so we've got a water reclamation rack, uh, uh, rack on board so we can actually take you know, water that's been used and re reuse it over and over. There are a lot of things between here and now and the journey, you know, it'd be nice to have bigger engines to get there faster. And also, the once you get there, you got to have the ability to sustain yourself for a period of time. So making all those long-term type, type of things are, are things that we're working on with the space station. We often talk about science fiction becoming science fact here at the White House. A lot of technologies that were first envisioned in science fiction now exist in the real world, like satellites that were first conceived in a book. I, th I think one of the things that most movies that talk about space is just the wonder of space. And I think all of us at one time or another have kind of sat back for a minute or two and you kind of look around and you, and you look out and you see the beautiful earth going beneath you and you, you look out see the stars and then you see the crew and the teams and all that stuff making all this stuff happen. And you really appreciate it. It's just, it's just amazing. You know, you've trained and you've done all these things, but it's still amazing when you get up there and actually see it happen. America can do anything. We just got to keep on encouraging every new generation to explore and invent and create and discover. <laughs>